Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing... Uh, I found a mod on the workshop, and it is called uh, Zombie Bots. So they give you pretty much like zombie team bots and stuff. The one thing I don't remember though is if it works on um, on these kind of maps right here. Because I want to see... I had water park zombies, and I saw that is a whole big thing, which I will get into. But let me see if I have it actually now that I think about it. Um, I may end up skipping this part of the video because I saw that they he deleted the map because apparently the creator was, um, you know, not a, not a good person or whatever. But I'm sitting there looking through it, and sure enough, yeah, he did. I like that. That's crazy. Now to think about it, that's what that's probably why I ended up not having a a, a zombie map because I I thought I, I thought the numbers seemed off because I was like I could have sworn I've had like this number of zombie maps on here and all of a sudden it popped up saying i have one less than i did so that explains it uh, but anyways we're gonna be well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it on the stairway to heaven first and we're gonna see how this goes i i did originally have this as like you know a challenge um or stairway to heaven as a special challenge map just to do uh but i think i'll try it with the zombie with the with the zombie bots let's see if that'll work i don't know if it'll work on base maps or if it's only um or dlc maps Oh, wait, it also has DLC map. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Oh, my God. At any time, use the mod menu, press unbound, special weapon toggle bots mode. All right. I don't have that, so. Hardcore mode enabled. As host. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing that means you can. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, what's cheat menu? Oh, cool. Okay, well. Oh, and I paused the game. <laughs> that is actually fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. So. What? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I'm going to leave them to do what they're going to do. That is that is actually kind of fun. Um. So yeah, this is the bot zombie mod. So the bot zombies literally, apparently, just follow me around this whole time. <laughs> That's what it seems to me that they are doing. Ah! <laughs> I just got fucked. I got revived pretty quick though, but I'm about to say, are they not dying? Oh my god, this is so many. <laughs> this is so many zombies at one time. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Shit! Okay, this, um, yeah, we got overwhelmed, like, in seconds, man. What does this do? Does this do anything? Oh, oh my gosh, that, that was amazing. Oh my god. G18, are you kidding me? Well, at least we get two, <laughs> the amount of gunshot. And the grease gun. Okay, well, we get, at least we got decent weapons here. And the fact that the bots here are seem like they're absolutely stupid. Hold on a minute. I'm going to turn this down again more because it seems like it seems like it's a lot louder than anticipated. I just want to make sure it's not extremely loud for you guys. Every time I do a video part and my audio seems like really low, like a lot lower than it should be. And oh, it sucks. I hate it all the time. Oh, my God. This is proper socialist that video, that, that noise started, I think that noise that I do. I don't know why. It just ended up being a random habit. The noise randomly started in, I think, a, um... Oh, God. What video was it? Oh, my God. I think it was my blackout video I did, like, a couple years ago. <laughs> don't fucking run away That's from me! Wait. I did that noise for the very first time, and it was so weird. I like all these, uh, point stuff you're getting here. Really? Dead shot? That's what you put up here? I hear Brutus! I hear Brutus! Oh, there he is. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that didn't matter. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Look at the bots! Jesus Christ, man. These fucking bots, dude. Well, at least they picked each other up, I guess. I guess that's a plus. At least I ain't gotta do that. Oh, my God. Look, they're just reviving each other up, like, left and right here. Jesus. Oh, my God. What perk did he get? What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Did I fuck up? <laughs> I think it... There's a glitch here, it looks like. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Alright, where's that grease gun? Oh no. There it is. Oh, I couldn't pick it up. What the fuck? I pick up. Oh, there we go. Whew. Dude, that was quick. These guys are like swapping pretty quick. I really do need to get the next door open though. All right, stamina up. That is going to come in so much handy here. Challenge maps are definitely a lot of fun, like especially especially the ones like these. I haven't really played many of them actually, so very interesting here. Oh my gosh, I don't know the bots. <laughs> the bots are not doing a very good job. Of their, they're kind of sucking to be honest with you. Electric cherry, another one going to come in handy. I wonder. I do seriously wonder though if if there's a perk limit. I didn't look at that either. If there was a perk limit or not. They keep reviving each other somehow. Like, <laughs> this is funny. All right, I'm gonna come down here and just get um, this, just because I want to see if there's a perk limit. And then if not, then I will definitely go through the. Oh no, I just picked up the G18. Are you kidding me? No, I don't want it. Can I pause it, please? Okay. Oh, the game crashed. Well, looky there. How lucky was that? I do think the um, the bots definitely 100% crashed the game. <laughs> like, that is 100% what, cl what crashed the game. So, all right, let's immediately grab the box. Come over here, grab this. Hammer? Really? Wow. Oh my god, HK21. They just fucking gave me a load of fucking LMGs, didn't they? Jesus. Oh my god. The hammer is insane. What the war? Oh, it is round. It is round three, I guess. I gotta keep that in mind. I need I need something else besides two uh oh, I fuck Another LMG what the fuck? They're just giving me LMGs. Oh my god. I don't I don't want to run slow for the rest of my time playing. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I'm running even slower than I did before. Okay, this is a little better. I think I can deal with this. They were like trying to get me to just run <laughs> run never, I guess, weren't they? It was like, alright, here you go. Here's a... <laughs> Here's nothing but LMGs for you, so then all you can do is just run forever and die. Like, Jesus Christ. As fun as the bots were, they are not a very big, reliable source of, <laughs> of, of help, honestly. Like, I literally played it. I literally chose it because I thought it would be funny as fuck. And it was. It was pretty funny. But they uh, definitely were not, um, were not the best. <laughs> what? I didn't see that zombie before. That's the first time. Um, oh my god. I can't think of the name. Uh, Napalm zombie. First time I've seen Napalm zombie in this man. Didn't show up last time. I don't remember anyways. So yeah, this uh, Volksmagwea. <laughs> is definitely working wonders. Ooh, Rangers. Ooh. I just got I got through earlier playing um uh, oh my god another LMG oh I got stamina so it doesn't matter but um I I got through playing there was a Modern Warfare Experience mod and it pretty much just overhauls the entire game to where you know it plays like Modern Warfare and oh my gosh it was actually pretty fun it was entertaining uh like was playing through the giant with like Modern Warfare weapons was actually like insane I didn't I never would have uh, imagined playing with Modern Warfare weapons. Especially in 2024, but... Because, um... Oh my god, another LMG! They're just, like, fucking... Fucking me with LMGs, Jesus Christ! I, I like the look of the Ameli. That's probably the one LMG from Ghost that I actually liked was the Ameli. That and the, um... Oh god, what, what was the other gun? Chainsaw, that was it. I, I didn't mind that one too much. Like, it was the first one, I believe, that you get. But I've, I haven't played Call of Duty Ghost in forever. But, um, really, honestly, the only thing worth visiting back to Ghost, like, between all three game modes is probably multiplayer. And that that's not saying it's good. <laughs> like, the multiplayer 
Like when you when you, I remember playing Call of Duty Ghost and then jumping back and forth between Ghost and Black Ops Two, and when Black Ops Two still had about the same player count as Ghost did in 2013, like after you know the life cycle of BO2 ended, that's that's pretty sad, honestly. Like people who were born before 20, like before Black Ops Two days, like I feel so sorry for. Like unless you have a 360 or a PC and you're able to play Black Ops Two. Like now, if you're like, you know, between 10, 15, or even far, even 18 years old, that's crazy. Because if you think about it, like, if you're 18 years old now, like you were born in 06, so by the time Black Ops 2 came out, you were 6 years old. You still didn't really understand, like, Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty games or how they worked or anything. Which is cr just, it's insane to think about. Just sit there and think about it, okay? You're, we're so old now at this point. People who play Black Ops 2 every single day, we're so old now that it does not feel like 12 years ago. Like for Black Ops 2, it, it does not feel like almost 12 years ago. Like once October gets here, I'm pretty sure, or November gets here, October, well, I, don't, I don't remember exactly when Black Ops 2 released. I'll I'll probably put a photo of the release date up, up here. But it, it most definitely has been that long. What was supposed to go here? What perk was here? There's supposed to be a perk here, damn it. I was awaiting the perk that was up here. No. Oh. I have no ammo left. This is crazy. Oh, what is this gun? I don't even know what this is. Oh! Oh, my butt! <laughs> I'm replacing an LMG with an LMG. Like, this, the box is just literally, like, just fucking glazing my ass with LMGs today. I'm not complaining, I guess. As long as I got stamina up, I don't care. Give me the LMGs all day. But... Dude, was that max ammo? Oh my god! If that was max ammo, I'm gonna be so pissed. If I look back, if I look back and I slow it down, and that's max ammo, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, that's different. M4A1. I will take that. Ooh, it's NW3's M4. Okay, I will take that. I definitely don't mind that. Oh, Brutus is still here. Oh my gosh. Hey man, how you doing? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What drugs is he on? Holy shit! Oh my god. Brutus. Brutus. Oh my Jesus. The helmet finally came off. Oh my god, Brutus. Die. Die. It's insta-kill. It should do extra damage or something. Die! <laughs> Brutus, please die. Oh my god. That was a pain. And you didn't get points from it either? Well, that is... That's not right. You should get points for that. <laughs> I should have at least gotten a thousand points, like, bonus for that. Like, he took the brunt of my all of my damage. I had... So, that was the LMG. Probably the most powerful LMG I think I've seen so far. And it did nothing. It did nothing. Are you kidding me? Who's who? Who's who? You could have put any perk possible, and you put who's who up here. What kind of nonsense is that? You might as well just have choked my choked me in my sleep with my bed sheets. Oh, the pe the peacekeeper. Oh my god, I'm sitting just talking about the Black Ops two days, and here I get the peacekeeper in the infield. Black Ops one. Jesus Christ. Oh, I miss the noise of this gun so much, man. I I, I still remember. When they released a Peacekeeper with the Revolution DLC, oh my god, man, it was so wonderful. Like, I mean, I, I of course I wasn't able to get the Revolution DLC when it first launched. Shoot, I don't even think I got the second DLC was that was the first DLC I got because of Mob of the Dead. Um, Revolution was the last DLC that I ever got, I believe, because I picked up the DLC uh, Uprising. I'm pretty sure it was the second one, and then Vengeance was the last one, and then Apocalypse. No. Vengeance was a third to last, and then Apocalypse was the last one. So I grabbed, uh, I grabbed Uprising, and I grabbed Vengeance. You know when they were pretty much around the time they released. But for this, I grabbed at the last time, like the last DLC I grabbed because I really didn't like the the die rise and stuff like that. Because of course, zombie player here. I've always been a big zombie player, except for Black Ops Two. I was zombie. I love zombies in Black Ops Two, man. But I tell you, Transit and Die Rise, like when they first released. Besides it being a kind of nostalgic map now at this point, 
it still was definitely not like the greatest two maps at the time. So it was just, you know, nostalgia. It was not alive then, unless it was for you know Keynote or Totem and whatnot. But since we didn't have a Keynote or Totem, we were stuck with that. So I definitely um, had to pick up the Peacekeeper weapon from like dead bodies and stuff in multiplayer. <laughs> That's how I was able to get most of my stuff. I remember I mowed the grass and everything, like, for my dad and stuff, and, like, I, he paid me for it. I think it was, like, 20 or 40 dollars. I don't remember. For me to go get the, um, the, the PlayStation Network card so I can go and buy the DLCs and stuff, because I really wanted it, man. Like, it was so good. Like, just thinking back on it and remembering it, and it's so funny because, you know, I was struggling to afford it, uh, back then. Oh, there's Double Tap. I was struggling to afford it back then, and then here I am now, like, playing Black Ops 3 on the PC, and I have all the DLCs for PC for Black Ops 2 and on Xbox. <laughs> so it's just, it's so funny. Like, I love the game so much that I literally bought it, like, three separate times, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Got it three separate times. So it's just so funny to think about, man. It's so funny to think, to think back on. I also miss Black Ops 1, too, dude. Like, I... I, I started, I played Black Ops 1, like, uh, around the days of Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so I was kind of relatively late to the online party for that because I didn't understand about, like, microphones and whatnot until, like, uh, I finally got it to work. And um, my first one, I think it was a Logitech headphones. It was my dad's. And it was kind of crappy, honestly. Like, it was, not, it was not the best, like, pair of headphones <laughs> at all. But it was headphones, and it worked. Uh, so... After a while, uh, those headphones broke, so I ended up getting um, like a very cheap pair of PlayStation headphones. I think I think my grandmother actually gave it to the, uh, gave them to me actually. Uh, very cheap pair of headphones. They were like you know twenty dollar Turtle Beaches, and ever since then, I've worn Turtle Beaches, and those those Turtle Beaches have been like the most trusted pair I think that I've owned. Um, I have had. Uh, I had one. I had Turtle Beaches for the Xbox 360. I don't remember what kind they were, but they were really, really good. They were like over a hundred dollars. They were real expensive headphones, and I really liked them. And so ever since then, oh, the SR50. I want to use it for fucking old times' sake. But um, in terms of like headphone quality, um, Turtle Beaches is the ones that I've trusted the most. I do have another pair of like headphones and stuff, but it's like an expensive pair of think of Logitech. Uh, I'm not a thousand percent sure exactly what kind they are, though. I didn't really look at them, because they came in a bundle uh, with uh, some of the blue microphones I got before I moved to the Shure. Uh, the Shure microphone so far has been the best, even though I, I have definitely struggled with uh, finding the right sound, um, the right, you know, sound thing to use for the for the fucking uh for the microphone because every time i use it i get some sort of like uh static noise in the game like i would hear it while i'm playing a game i would open it up and i would hear it and i got on my damn nerves so i haven't heard it uh since i started using the actual sure um thing here i haven't heard it so hopefully it stays that way i don't want to hear it <laughs> i'm getting tired of hearing the static like every time i played something because it said it required 60 decibels of, um, uh, it required 60 decibels of, you know, uh, sound. And it's just crazy. Like, it, it is very gain hungry. And, um, I think I have it right now at 45. And it sounds great. I, I think it sounds okay at 45. 45 is pretty good. The only problem is the random moments of static. Like, it still does it in the microphone. But, like, I would hear it in the headset before, and it was so much worse than how it even is, like, during just when I'm randomly talking and it just randomly happens. So, it, it I don't understand. Oh, my God. This is so, so, uh, so nostalgic, man. Just listening to the DSR-50 makes me just want to cream my pants. Oh, my God. I would, you would think that it, they would do extra damage to them if it's on, you know, fucking, oh, no. <sighs> I don't know how I got out of that. Oh my god, I have no idea how I got out of that. I am going to grab Widow's Wine. I'm not going to grab Who's Who or Deadshot because those two are terrible perks. Absolute dog shit. But Widow's Wine, you are divine. I'm trying to think back of like some Black Ops 2 days with like, you know, the DSR 50 and everything. 
Like, I that's why I made so many of uh, like, um, like so many like friends and stuff like that. Like, I added um, I added a couple of them back. Funnily enough, uh, from like you know the people that I remember, I I, I searched them up when I got uh, my PS5, um, and whatnot, and I searched them up. And actually, no, my PS4. Like when I first got my PS4 Pro back in like uh, 2018, I searched them up. I remember their, their gamer tags, and I searched them up. And it's so sad because they don't play anymore. And it's so sad; it depresses me. Because it's like I messaged one of them, and I was like, "Hey, dude, it's you know, it's it's um, when well, I was still going through like uh, NW3 Unit One at the time. Um, I called them, not called them. God damn, what is wrong with me? I messaged one of them and I said, hey, you know, it's me from, you know, it's NW3 Unit 1 from, you know, back in the day. And I didn't get an answer. Like, I did not get an answer. And since then, they they, they were online a couple of times. But ever since now, they, they haven't been online in, like, so long. And um, as far as one of them, they were playing GTA one day. And I just happened to join in. Uh, it was in an open lobby. And I happened to join in that lobby. And uh, he was playing poker. So I just went to the casino and I joined in on the poker game. <laughs> and that was it. Like for 30 or so minutes or something like that, I was just playing poker with him. And just not a word. And that's the last time that I have that I saw them at all. And it's so sad for me, man. I was just like, there was no, no sound whatsoever. So like, who even knows if that was even... You know the person that you know I played with growing up because we were kids then. Like of course we're, we're we're definitely adults now, so we were kids then. No, we're not kids anymore. But it's still sad when you sit here and think about it because you know for how um, long ago it was, and then for how much time has passed now. So you think back about the old friendships and everything, because you know we had so much fun as as like kids playing on Black Ops Two, and. Everybody gets older. And it sucks to, you know, admit it. It definitely sucks to admit it. But, you know, who knows? They they probably have kids of their own or, you know, they <clears throat> are in, in stuff like that. You know, who knows what, what they got going on in their life and everything. But <clears throat> it does suck. I do wish I at least did get, like, a response from the message that I sent. Just to see, like, you know, just see what they're doing. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see, like, how they're doing... You know, stuff like that. It's just, it's just strange. It's, time is such a strange thing, man. This has got to be the last one. This has got to be the last one. No, there's another one. Vulture aid? Are you kidding me right now? I need <sighs> Whatever. There, there. How many more is there? Like, how many? Can I, can I see around it? I can't see around it. That's stupid. <laughs> I was like, can I see around it? <laughs> In terms of headphones, um. I bought a a pair of like Logitech, and I don't remember what they were. They were the blue pair, and I tried them out because uh, that was my blue microphone was messing up my PlayStation and everything. So I was like, okay, I want a new like headset microphone because for some reason this headset right here doesn't uh, work properly on PlayStation either. I don't know, like it just stopped working, and sometimes it'll work, but sometimes it won't. So now I just wear them for basic headphones, and I've had these headphones uh, probably about two years now. Like, I had to buy a new pair because I have, um, I had Stealth 600s, and I really liked them. I, I, I really did. Like, they were wireless, and they were nice, and when I charged them up, they were really good, and I still wore, like, one of these pairs. But one of the headphones stopped working, and I was so pissed. I was like, God damn it. Like, th those, those are the most expensive, like, Turtle Beach headphones I bought. These right here, I think, were like forty dollars, and they these are the best ones I've had so far. But um, I've also bought a pair of Razer headphones, which I have right here, and I bought them for PC usage. And um, they they don't work as well. Like the headphones are great. The microphone sells like I'm in a cardboard box, like, and I can't because I, I got it when I was playing. Um, I got it when I was like playing on here. And such, and I was like, you know, I'll just wear it for, you know, casual talking because I felt like a lot of times on my microphone I was too loud. Um, so I got it for that reason. And it's so much worse. Like, oh my gosh, it is so terrible. I would much rather sound louder than sound like I'm in a cardboard box. <laughs> like, it's just, it's so bad. Ugh, it's so bad.
Ooh, the Hell's Redeemer. 75,000. Oh my gosh, we gotta get 75,000 points for that. Jesus. All right, I am definitely going to pack punch the LSAT because I like the LSAT. What is this? Oh, that's what that is? Oh my god. Oh, that is actually cool. <laughs> the fucking LMGs. Why? Look, I'm not complaining, I guess. I just got rid of you, dude. I really like how they're literally running from up top. The Rangers. I feel like those are definitely much better. They're running from up top to get to me. <laughs> I'm just going to teleport back up here. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, I'm up here again. Oh, there's a coin right there. Look at that. What? I didn't see any more coins. That was the... That was the last coin I think I've seen. That's strange. All right, how how does the Rangers do? Oh my God! It one tapped them, dude. Wonder what they like. Pack a punched. All right, I'm gonna I'm I'm pack a punch the Rangers next. I want to see what they like. Dusty and Paint Horse. What an interesting name. Oh my gosh. Ah! Don't you dare hit me. PKM. Oh, this is pretty good. It's actually shredding them nicely. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I don't think I'm a package puncher though. I don't know. I don't really care for the for the PKM. I guess. I don't know. I mean it's it's pretty good, I guess, but I want to try different weapons too. Because I know the, like the, the game ends at 75k, whatever, but I want to try different weapons. So as of today, as of I'm recording this, this is the release date for Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh my gosh. And I will not be able to see it. I would love to see it, but I probably am going to wait a little bit. So hopefully I don't see any spoilers or hear anything. Oh, the L115. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> Sniping him. Oh my God. Taking them down one by one. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't have killed them. Now they're going to be spawning down here. <laughs> Should have left them alone. M60. Oh, my God. Oh, this is Black Ops 1 M60. Oh. Oh. It's Black Ops 2's M60. Never mind. <laughs> it does not sound like Black Ops 1's M60. I love this. I love Black Ops 1's game sounds. Like, Black Ops 2, as much as I love the game, they did reuse a lot of, like, sound assets in terms of guns, like the AK-74U uh, and the Galil. They used the same sound for both guns. It just sounds like a random thing in a barrel. AN-94, well, this is it. This is the only gun I'm using for the rest, <laughs> for the rest of the game. Jesus. This is so funny. Like, they're... So, how's life, everybody? In the background here, uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put it up at, but I bought, I got a uh, one of those uh, replica WWE championships, and it's awesome. I fucking love it. It's 10 pounds, and it's an absolutely monster. And I did not expect it to be that big. My stream deck also came in, so I really like having the option to um, just, you know, switch apps at the push of a button and also, like, in the recording if I need to. And stuff like that, because like you know, I can I can even I can even do this. Oh my gosh, look at there! That's for the stream. I need to update it with my normal logo and stuff. I just had no time to do yet, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so, um, that was probably like the most thing I was looking forward to because I thought about getting it for the longest time, and then they had it on sale, and I was like, yeah, I'm absolutely gonna grab that. <laughs> like, I'm just not gonna sit here and not grab it. Dude, dude, is it? It's fully. It's it's. Oh, I say fully automatic, but it's a burst. That is that is insane. Oh my god, these things are fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? You're gonna feel the wrath of my shotgun, and I'm actually excited for you. See, you get a thousand points for killing those guys, but you don't get any points for killing uh, Brutus. I don't think, anyways. I didn't see any points whatsoever for killing him. Those Brutus, the, both Brutuses are still yet to get up here. Look at him. Just look at him running over here. Look at that fat boy. All right, let's use the A94 a little bit before I reach. Oh, my God. It's just melting them, dude. Oh, this is beautiful. Hold on. Can you, can you pack these twice? 
<gasps> you can. Oh my god. Hold on. Does it change the sights or does it actually give it? And I got dead wire. That's amazing. I. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> got dead wire again. Like I wonder if if that's by luck. All right, we'll go. F I mean, we'll find out. I'm gonna repack. I'm gonna pack this twice, and then we'll see. I wonder what other type of weapons they have though. Like I haven't seen any. Oh yeah, it's by luck. I haven't seen any wonder weapons. There's a gold coin. I haven't seen any wonder weapons either. That's another coin right there. I stopped looking for the coins. <laughs> like once I got to a certain level, I just stopped searching. But maybe I, maybe I got most of them. Well, this map seriously wasn't really as much of a challenge as I was expecting. It definitely was more of a challenge when the bots were here because they were. I feel like they definitely made it to where it was four player. They counted, you know, the bots as players, so it became a four player amount of zombies. That's probably what happened. So we ended up like getting overwhelmed too much. But the bots definitely just were, were a great, excellent distraction <laughs> for for them. But. In the end, man, they, they just were definitely more of a liability than of any help whatsoever. Because I saw where they would do, like, Easter eggs and stuff, but I really just... If they're following me around and everything, like, I, why would I want that? Like, come on. I would not want that. 10,000 more points to go, and then we are out of here. Yeah, ammunition is, like, definitely not really as much of a problem up here. Dude, I'm just getting hundreds of points at a time here. Dude, this, this gun, like, the, these shotguns are absolutely amazing. Like, <laughs> I'm just ripping through them. All right, end game. Boop. Well, that was fun. Not really as challenging as I was thinking it was going to be for solo anyways, but it was a, definitely a fun map, honestly. I did like it. This was a good map, so... Uh, all right. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.